What could he want with someone like me? Empty and broken down on my knees. But through my sorrow, killed and shame, I heard his voice calling my name. And love like rain. Washing my sins into the sea, and now I'm free. Thank God I'm free. His love like rain came down on me. I tasted pride. Washing my sins into the sea, and now I'm free. Thank God I'm free. His love like rain came down on me, and love like rain came down on me. Washing. I knew the roads were bad. I mean, we had rained a couple of days ago and everything was wet and now it's freezing. And I, it just came to me, how many people does it take to drive safe to get you here safe? And nobody, you knew the roads were bad, but you still came. So apparently there's something here that we don't get at home. And uh, at least I do, you know, last, or. I think it was last Sunday, we weren't here, and I get drawn back. I, I come back, and it's not because I want to be up here. I mean, I feel better sitting back, but <clears throat> I just had to think about that. You know, we go to church on, a, on slick roads, and we don't even know who's on the road. We don't know if, they're, if they change, put their snow tires on this fall, and we don't even know if they're staying in their lane or not. But still we still we come here. And that, I think that's it's it's just such a blessing that we can do it safely and we don't worry about am I gonna get killed? Because um especially if we're looking forward to eternity, right? We don't we don't, I mean, my flesh doesn't want to die, I guess. However, you probably know that, how that feels. But just getting here safe, despite knowing what the roads were, and it just makes, it, I had to think about that in a church. You know, a lot of people don't go to church because there's hypocrites there or there's people, I don't want to say it, might not get along with each other, there's problems. Well, and it kind of came to me that, you know what, if I'm not a hypocrite and I'm not part of the problem, chances are the church really needs me if it needs more people like that. So, um, and I read the scripture, it's First Peter, second chapter. I'll just read it. And it says, 
Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speaking. So first we uh, um, lay aside all our weaknesses and our weaknesses, like whatever it may be. And you and we come to church and we share it with other people that have weaknesses. But the thing that stands out to me is my weaknesses and the next person's weaknesses are not the same. They have strength. And everybody coming together, everybody has their strength and their weakness. And I, I think that's why I get so much out of our men's meetings. It just encourages me a lot is because we get together. Everybody has weaknesses. I go home. And I remember what it did for my weaknesses. I don't even remember what the other person's weakness was and how we um, get together and um, and it just it encourages me way more with other people than it does. You know, if we stay at home Sunday, we have family devotion, but there's still something not there that we get from other people. And I think it, and it's probably love, you know, if you, I feel a lot of love here, and I feel like I love everybody here, and that just really, so I wanted to read a little bit more here in Peter, First Peter, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, and that you may grow thereby, if so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Um, and this verse always remind, uh, makes me think, well, I think Aiden says something about how simple it is. It's not even complicated. As newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word. That's the description of simplicity itself. And it says, then in um, verse 10, it says, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. 13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, wherefore it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of the evildoers, then in uh, verse 24, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. And I feel, I feel like that is what pulls me to church. You know, I've the way we grew up and was obviously, you know, way different, but to, um, um, I always wanted a church that didn't have fuss or you had to be on the good side of somebody to get what you want. And, but to, uh, just be together with, and it's not like that less people would see eye to eye on everything here. It's just that I'm not worried about, or you're not worried about what, you know, if we, uh, and I think we're to, here to help, help each other, you know. It's, and that reminded me of <laughs> recently I was driving through town and, uh, a car cut me off. I don't even want to say what my first first thoughts were, but now it's like, and I honked the horn, and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And I was like, what if I pull out in front of somebody? Should they honk it? You know, and I think if it's, I I believe if we're here to help each other, so. And to help each other, I believe sometimes we have to be friends in a in a way we we don't want to say something if somebody is doing wrong or 
but if we do out of the love of our heart, I think it goes a long way. And another thing I've come across is the enemies. Your enemies are your, you know, everybody knows what an enemy is. Um, but I, I've had this struggle of in where the devil most tries to get me is not with my enemies. It's with my friends. And I believe the reason for that is if he can get two believers to start, um, how would you call it, nitpicking maybe <laughs> against each other, he's destroying two Christians with one stone. See, he's not, he's not, you know, maybe someone is an enemy and the, and the person's not a believer. We would consider him an enemy, right? But it's not with other people. He wants to do it through, uh, through the, you know, church or Christians, true Christians is where he wants to destroy that. So that just really, that's what I had to think about. And then one thing, all of our relationships with good relationships with uh, people here and people we work for, but that we get our our word or the, our our connection to God is strong. Something I had something happen to me. Well, maybe it was a I don't know what you would call it. I guess last winter I had a heater. I bought a heater. Can't even remember where I got it. It was brand new. And it was a 220. So just a single phase 220 heater. And uh, I ran the wires for it. I remember I wanted to do everything right because it's a new heater. Why not? You know, I don't want to have tape showing anywhere or things like that. I didn't want to do it right. So I set everything up. And I turned the switch. Nothing. I went over everything I could think of. I went back to the box, the breaker was on, everything, followed the wire, went through the junction box that went to the other heater that did work. And and I went through everything and I couldn't figure it out. I was almost ready to wrap it up, put the thing back in the box, take it back. And I was like, well, no, I'm just going to take everything down and start over. I got all day. So I went back to the box. To take the wire out and the wire came out by itself so I was like maybe that's it so I tightened the screw I tightened the screw it took about a half a turn of a screwdriver and the juice was there it was live I went back to the heater turned it on and it did exactly what it was supposed to it came on through a nice heat and that really stood out to me everything seems to be in order and my folk, and the focus should be on yourself, not on other people, you know, to, uh, for your connection to God. So that really, I'll probably never forget it, what that happened to me and how I felt when I, when it came to me. It was, I just thought it really, it was really, it was really inspirational to me. Oh, yes. I believe in a God, and I know that I shall see Him someday in heaven upon His great throne. I believe in a God, and I know He is with me, will be with me till I enter. Thank you.